welcome back to a new opening box that's today we will open the Z11 Pro Max from a formula brand that I just uh, received so we will go through uh, the open box together and after that I will open uh, I will connect it to my um, computer and see uh, what is inside so let's open it together here is the machine So this is a brand new uh, design that we can see. So a piece of carbon over here with the formula on the side over here. Uh, then in front we have a small LED. On the side nothing and on the back uh, electricity port, the ER uh, reception, SD card, USB uh, 2.0, HDMI and uh, gigabit, uh, gigabit port. Over here we have a USB 3 uh, port as well. So this uh, device has uh, MyTV Online 3 uh, installed, pre-installed. So there is a CPU ARM Cortex A55, uh, which are, it's uh, Realtek RTD uh, 1319C. Uh, there is a GPU Mali G57 uh, MC1. Uh, there is 4 GB of RAM. Uh, at 2400 uh, MHz, there is a storage of 32 uh, GB, operating system uh, Android 11, and we have a format uh, decoded. Uh, we have AV1, uh, 4K HDR uh, plus, HDR10 plus, uh, we have HFG, HEVC. Uh, on this device, we have a white wine uh, L1, L3. There is a Bluetooth 5.0 and uh, especially this one, the Max, has the wireless uh, AX, which is the sixth uh, generation. Uh, as discussed previously, we have a gigabit on the side, uh, the USB 3 and USB 2. And uh, there is a memory extension with the micro SD uh, over here, as uh, mentioned before. Uh, mainly this device is with my TV on 93 and uh, there is the universal uh, search that has been developed with this new architecture and uh, the multi portal but this we will discuss it later uh, when we will connect the device um, to, to you uh, here on the box there is um, up again so the ER sensor over here there is the HDMI cable, the, the battery for the remote, the electricity connector, and we do have a remote, which is the ER remote um, that is currently in all uh, formula. It's up over here. So it's nice and handy in the hands. Button as are very uh, smooth. So it's a nice remote that you can grab into the hands. Very nice. And this is the version 3 of the, the remote as well. So it's another um, um, another um, version as well. So we will connect the device and uh, we will discuss about it. Welcome back for this inside Z11 Pro Max, as you can uh, you saw in the screen. Uh, this is um, a new device from a Formula brand. Uh, it's included Android uh, 11 and having uh, my TV online 3. So I already uh, started up and pre-installed uh, to uh, to be able to do the software updates. Um, as you can see, the look do not change that much from the the previous uh, the previous models. Uh, just at the icon of my TV online 3, uh, there is the tree, of course. So let's uh, go inside it. Uh, over here, uh, I think the design has been uh, rebuilt. The architecture as well has been rebuilt. Some uh, policy that you need to accept, and then you can. Uh, add the portal or add the M3 uh, U list and the adding the content sources is uh, pretty much like this 
where you have a device and then uh, more settings and and you can parameter uh, different things login required and as well um, this my tv online 3 uh, allow uh, multi portals connections so which is uh, uh, really good uh, features and then here over here you can add your m3u uh, playlist going back uh, we can see that uh, a little bit uh, the menu has been changed then we can go through the, the settings where you have the menu language, subtitle, the closed captions, the audio, the USD timeouts over here in the screen. So DVR option as well to uh, activate time shift, yes or no. But the time shift, um, you always need to add uh, extra USB. It's not included inside the, the hard drive of the, the device. Uh, and then here you can reset user preferences. Uh, I will not go through all the different options because there is um, so many options that we can discuss. The good features, uh, it's an EFR that you can uh, divide based on the TV, on live TV or VOD or uh, series. That's, I think it's a pretty cool new features. Um, there is as well, you cannot see it here, but uh, you, ha you have a PIP PIP uh, function where you can have multiple screens uh, or a second screen when you are already watching another. So that's as well a cool uh, features. And uh, the last one will be the universal search that you basically do a search and then it will go through um, all uh, EPG, so the electronic program guide into the live TV and show you uh, what you are uh, researching. And then it will propose as well to do the same research on the VOD or on the series. So basically all the inside menus are included into the research, which is a uh, different but pretty cool feature. Uh, over here, YouTube, uh, of course, then you have the market. I think you are familiar with that uh, within the, the previous device where you can install a bunch of uh, application. Um, let's go through it. Memory Cleaner, Netflix, VLC. So yeah, there is a lot of games, uh, VPNs, uh, testing application. You, there is the Formula Remote as well. I will uh, quickly download it. And I will then uh, show you uh, a part of it. Uh, there is the odd keys to parameter the red, uh, green, yellow, and blue. What you would like to do with these uh, odd keys. After that, we have the formula remote. Over here, depending on which um, remote you have, you can set up uh, odd keys. So based on the two or three or four dots that you see at the bottom of the remote. And when you are here, you can parameter um, things that you wish or parameter the setup as you, you prefer, basically. So over here, the double tap, I can choose go to VOD, live series or start recording, go to the V format, open the mouse or whatsoever. There is a bunch of options that you can set, which is pretty cool to um, to personalize your uh, odd keys. Then the color keys as well. Um, that sits for the formula remote. Otherwise, there is the GTV BT1, but you need to connect. And as well, you can use it to control your um, your audio uh, bar, basically. Uh, let's go out. Odd keys we discussed. This is the the software update. So. Uh, Every now and then you have new updates, fixing bugs, and you can see the date and what has been fixed. So fix PEP enabled, uh, fail to load uh, some VOD errors. So it's pretty cool uh, having the system all the time updated. The power modes, what you do when you uh, uh, press the, the STB button, if it's going to standby or shut down, the network uh, storage as well. Uh, then through the settings you have Android 11, so I think you are familiar with that. Uh, there is uh, the apps where you can clear clear the cache of the apps that you are using. The device preferences when you can enable HDMI CEC to to um, 
to put your to turn off for example your tv when you turn off the the, the box uh, there is pretty cool uh, things that you can go through uh, all of them you can factory reset of course the device uh, the gboard you can add other keyboard if you prefer uh, the display so a uh, lots of things uh, the remote accessories so you can pair uh, with bluetooth accessories like a headset or um, or the bluetooth gtv uh, remote from formula uh, you will see it over here in the screen again it's a bluetooth uh, 5 uh, version over here and then you have the launcher settings when you can app groups uh, change to customize the the launcher that you can use so uh, in the previous page on, over here and then you have the parental settings the startup app that's when the app, the device is uh, rebooting what you would like that is straight away starting up as an application and uh, we have the advanced where you can change the wallpaper of the the screen so i think i speak about pretty much everything uh, don't forget that this model the max model has the ax uh, technology about uh, wireless so that's the uh, sixth um, technology and uh, yeah is going for to the future so i hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon for another one thanks guys enjoy bye